going on, you guys? It's your boy Alex West Collects here, bringing you another figure review. And today we're taking at the Jazzers AW Blood and Guts Ringside Collectibles Exclusive Wheeler Yuta. Again, this is only available at ringsidecollectibles.com. When you guys shop there, use my code for life. It will save you 10% off your order at checkout. So here we are. We have another rendition of the Blood and Guts series. This is also exclusive to Ringside, the bloodied up figures. Uh, the perfect home for them, if you ask me. Always love the packaging that comes with these figures. You can see the blood splatter on the front here. Uh, looks really good. And it just like, it's like a bloody mess. It's like all over the place on the figure, on the box. It's just, it's a fun series to have. And again, I feel like it being a, a ringside exclusive just makes so much sense, right? I can't imagine these sitting on uh, shelves at retail, your local Target or Walmart. But uh, again, you will see the nice kind of clear big plastic window box here with all the blood. Uh, again, this seems to be going away with collecting and, and figures. Even Mattel is like shrinking their elite boxes. But I guess with exclusives, it's still going to stick around. So hopefully uh, Jazzers holds on. I wonder if they have any uh, plans to kind of go a little more plastic free with their packaging in the future. But in addition to the blood on the window box here, you will see blood and guts on the bottom. The AW logo, Wheeler Yuta with a nameplate here. The ringside exclusive logo. Uh, you can see he comes with a bunch of accessories. Behind, I don't know if you guys can notice, there is a jacket. I'm so thankful they placed that on the side and not on the figure to avoid any staining. He comes with interchangeable hands. He comes with three heads in total. And for the first time, we're getting the Ring of Honor Pure Championship belt. Looks really nice. Has that vac finish. On the top of the box, you will see blood and guts. Wheeler Yuta. On the side, just see kind of the uh, window box continuing along with the AW Unrivaled logo on the bottom. The other side, you get the image of Wheeler Yuta as well as the figure number. On the back, the bloodied up image. Again, the blood dripping down just everywhere. This looks really great. Absolutely love what the uh, Jazzers packaging team does with these figures. But anyways, let's get this figure out of the box and see what it's all about. So here we have Wheeler Yuta and his bloody goodness out of the packaging, but let's run through his accessories real quick. So you get a set of interchangeable fisted hands. You will see that the uh, hands actually have some nice blood detailing on there on his knuckles and on his thumb. Really do like that. Additionally, you do get a soft goods leather jacket. And if you guys have been collecting the AW line, you do know that their soft goods seem to stain the figure. I'm very glad that this came not put on Wheeler Yuta. I'll be honest, he's got all this blood on him. Do you really want to cover it up with this jacket? So I probably will not be using it for display just because it's staining, but also because he has the blood. Um, and again, these nice pops of yellow or accents of yellow look really nice on this jacket. Really makes it stand out. I will say the jacket feels a little on the thin side. It's a little fragile. I'd be careful with that. I wouldn't want to tear it. I uh, haven't had the best look with their soft goods, but there is no Velcro on the front, it seems. It just kind of stays open, but the jacket does look pretty nice. This will look good for some figure photography shots. Uh, additionally, you do get two interchangeable heads. So you get the screaming scan with the blood on the figure. And these two head scans are identical, it seems. So you get one kind of pre-match with no blood, one post-match with the blood. I wish they would have went with a different head scan just to change it up, but... I guess you can appreciate that they did give you somewhat of a differentiation. You do have the blood on the face. And this looks like a decent likeness to Wheeler Yuta. It's not perfect, but I definitely feel like the expression fits his character. Again, he got the nice kind of sculpting to his hair with the part to the side. So that looks really nice. And another major selling point. For the first time, you're getting the Ring of Honor Pure Championship here. Uh, looks really good. Uh, it's got the kind of nice silver vac finish here. It really does pop. Uh, I like the, the medallions here on the side. Just looks really nice. You got the kind of red detail that makes it pop a little bit. It, um, the strap, I will say, is a little stiff. Not not too hard. I feel like it's been hit or miss with their, their straps. I feel like sometimes they poured in pretty easy. This seems to go in there pretty easily. Or sometimes I've had like such a nightmare getting these to clasp uh, to the point where I'd close it like this and pop the torso off and just slide it on underneath because sometimes I, they do get a little tricky. I don't know, something about these belts on the actual figure are hard to put around their waist, but this title does look good. It is the first time we are getting it. Uh, but moving on to Wheeler Yuta himself, if we can get his arm down here. Uh, you can see the nice detailing with the blood on his torso. I will say my torso is a little loose at the waist. Not awful, definitely been worse with Jazzers, but a little loose, just pointing that out as we go. But look at all this blood on his neck, on his chest, his torso, his abdomen area, on his arms. Like, you got, it's like a treasure hunt trying to find all the, like, even on the inside of the hands. You guys see that? That is nice attention to detail. I do appreciate that. A little splatter even on the forearm, just dripping down. Look at the back. Looks a little more faded. 
really do dig that. I'm a big fan of the Blood and Guts line. It's just something different. But it, only when it makes sense, right? Uh, to de depict some like important moment where there was a lot of blood. Uh, it looks really good on this Wheeler Yuta. He does have these uh, kind of sculpted armbands here. Doesn't look like they're moving. Looks like they're actually sculpted on here. I really do like the look of that. Nice detailing to it. You can see on the inside looks like uh, more designs here. Take a look at his tights. He's got these kind of like nice neon tights or color variations here. Looks pretty good. I don't see any blood on his pants. That's funny. Um, he does have Yuta on the back. But if you look at his shoes, apparently he was stomping a mud hole and someone got blood all over his shoes like a crime scene. Uh, you can see the nice kind of like strap here. I will say these shoes look a little big. I feel like proportion wise, uh, it seems a little on the like long end as far as feet. It's funny how the proportions of the Jazz was, especially with the shoes. I feel like Hangman had those clown feet at one point. Um, some other figures like Pac had those really small kickers, but these seem to be a little bit on the bigger side, just looking at it in hand. Uh, he is on, obviously, on the ball joints. Uh, this figure does look pretty good I, I, for the most part. I'm not going to complain. Let's take a quick kind of close-up of the head scan. Can bring in the other bloodied head, too. And we'll definitely swap all these heads on the figure to kind of give you some different comparisons. But, again, does it make sense to include a non-bloodied head when he's got all this blood on his torso? I don't know, just a thought, but if you guys want to see what all these heads look by on side by side, but let's swap them on the figure body and see how they look. And starting us off, we have the screaming head that came on the figure. We have the other bloodied head that came with this figure set. And lastly, we have the head without the blood detailing on there at all. And again, I just feel like this looks weird. Why is there blood all over his body, his hands, his shoes, but none on his face? And for those of you wondering what the jacket looks like on the figure, here it is. I'll be honest, it does look kind of weird. I try to cover it up with the non-bloodied head scan, but it just looks weird that he's got all this blood on his chest and just a leather jacket over it. But I would have probably preferred this with a regular uh, Wheeler uh, Yuta release. But again, the jacket does look pretty good, just not great on this figure. Moving on to figure comparison. So here we have a few members of the Blackpool Combat Club. We have Brian Danielson here on the left. And on the right, we have John Moxley. Moving on to some other blood and gut figures. So on the left, we have John Moxley, who came with this Kenny Omega here on the right. And we also have the single card release of the bloodied Britt Baker. For our next set of blood and gut comparisons, we have the most recent two-pack, which included MJF here on the left, and on the right, we have CM Punk. And what still might be my favorite blood and gut set, we have the Blood Brothers two-pack featuring Dustin and Cody. I just feel like this match really, you know, put AW on the mark when it was getting started, and these figures really do symbolize that. And before we wrap up here with some final thoughts, if you guys haven't already, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button down below. If you guys are enjoying this video review, please make sure to turn on those notification bells to stay tuned to the newest action figure reviews here on my channel. As far as his Blood and Guts Wheeler Yuta goes, I will say he's definitely not my favorite Blood and Guts figure that we've gotten from Ringside and Jazzwares. I feel like we've gotten some pretty awesome sets. You know, Punk and MJF was really good with the most recent set. I really love Dustin and Cody, uh, even Mox and uh, Kenny Omega. I will say he's not my least favorite. Uh, Thunder Rosa, without question, was my least favorite figure uh, from the Blood and Guts line. I no longer even have that figure in my collection. Just, I don't know, I just didn't really care for it. I will say some of the stuff that comes with with Wheeler is a little weird, like as far as the non-bloodied head and the jacket, but it is extra, so I, that's really nitpicky. I'm not going to complain. If there's one gripe, I will say my torso is a little loose on this figure, and I feel like stuff like that is pretty consistent uh, across the AW line. If one figure has it, most of them do, so uh, if you guys did purchase this figure, drop a comment down below and let me know if you also have the issue with the torso. But you know what? He comes with three heads. You get a set of interchangeable hands. You get the first time in the line, uh, the Ring of Honor uh, Pure Championship. You get the jacket, so it, it definitely is a lot of bang for your buck, and it is a fun figure. I personally would have preferred um, you know, a non-bloodied Wheeler Yuta as my first figure um, from AJ AW uh, Jazzwares for his uh, you know first time in the line figure, but... It is what it is. I'm sure we're going to get more. I do think the figure is fun. Uh, again, this is only available at ringsidecollectibles.com. When you guys shop, use promo code 4LIFE. It will save you 10% off your order. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at AlexWestCollects. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video review, and I'll catch you all on the next one.